You're obviously going to be really excited about how you've been playing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really exciting. You know, I'm just trying to continue what I'm doing. So what is a change in you? Because it's pretty obvious, but how do you look at it? Uh, I just look at it, you know, I'm just going harder in practice. You know, I'm just doing things I'm capable of doing. Cal talks about being in better shape is a big deal. Do you feel that? Yeah, I feel like I'm in way better shape, you know. I feel like I can uh, run more for days, you know. Treadmill doesn't affect me as much no more. I feel like it's helped me more. It's really just, yeah, it's just helped me more, really. The starting and not starting, does it matter to you? No, it really just matters who's playing at the end of the game, who's playing. So it doesn't matter who starts the game, it matters who finishes it. Are you, run, are you running on the treadmill now, which you weren't doing last year, or just trying to figure out the difference? No, I was doing it last year, you know. It's just, I guess this year has not phased me as much, and you know, I'm getting used to running it on anymore. Do you feel like you've gotten comfortable in, in that role coming off the bench? Do you almost do you like it? Yeah, I'm fine. To watch the game for a minute and sort of get a feel for it. Yeah, I'm fine with it, but honestly, it doesn't matter. You know, it's no difference really. You know, coming off the bench or start, you know, you still analyze the game. You know, so it doesn't matter at the end of the day. Alex, it looks like, and then statistically, I think it is fact that you guys are better defensively when you're on the floor. Are you better defensively than you were a year ago, and, and how? Yeah, you know, I'm just taking defense more personal this year. You know, just trying to stop people, trying to guard people, trying to help help my teammates on the weak side, rebounds, weak side blocks. You know, trying to be in position to help them more. How did you get to that offensive rebound at the end of the game? That was one of the more impressive offensive rebounds I think we've seen. I honestly don't know. I just seen the ball in the air. I just tried to go get it. Is that the kind of play you might not have made two months ago? Uh, I don't know. You know, I just, you know, I just try to put my team in position to win. You know, I just seen the, uh, re I just seen the shot go off. You know, it missed, so I just tried to get the rebound. You know, just try to uh, get up there and get it. For those of you that were on the team last year, just the way the game went down in Knoxville, serve as any extra motivation? Yeah, it did. You know, we owe them one. You know, and it came and embarrassed us a little bit. You know, but you know, we're just trying to look at this new game, I'm trying to uh, rebound from my lost Tuesday. You know, just trying to get a W. I know that game in Knoxville last year is one that sort of sticks with Willie. You know, it was the first time he was pushed into that starting role when New Orleans was gone. Not a great day for him. Mm -hmm. One he's talked about. No, uh, we talked about a little bit. You know, we were just com uh, confused as New Orleans went down. You know, our defense changed a lot. You know, but we just, you know, we got a new team. You know, we just want to look at it as a different game. You know, just go and uh, play hard. Where is this team mentally? How has everybody handled? Is that's a crazy way to lose a game? I mean, it's crazy. You know, it hurt everybody. It hurt us a lot. You know, nobody wants to lose a game like that. You know, we fought so hard, uh, put it in the over, put it in overtime. Then we fought so hard to try again to put it in double overtime. You know, it's a lose like that. You know, it's really, it's really hurting. But you know, we just want to uh, come back to, uh, tomorrow and just play a good game. Um, I was actually really surprised. I never, I usually, I block out the same way every time for the past ten years. So I've never really had that. No, I've had that, actually I've had that call against me before, but. I didn't really know. I've never really noticed it. What did it look like to you if you saw the replay? Um, because your elbow kind of gets up by his neck area, it looked like. But I didn't think it was an intention. Yeah. Um, when I when I saw it, I actually haven't really looked back at it. But when they were replaying it, I didn't really understand what what was going wrong with it or. What was really like the, what was di like different about how everybody was blocked out? So when he threw you to the floor, you were surprised, huh? Yeah, I was. Totally surprised. I, no one really gets that upset when I block out. So, what did that do to your all's rhythm? I mean, I think there were like six or eight free throws in a row there without any clock, any time coming off the clock. Um, I thought in a way, kind of, it slowed everything down, but also kind of, it brought everything else to show how how uh, intense and how physical the game was going to be. How do you sum up your freshman season so far? Um. It's amazement. I kind of, you don't really notice that you're a freshman anymore once you're at Kentucky. So like, you're just going as a team. You kind of figure out like we're all here trying to figure stuff out together. So, as you can see, we all learned a lot of things, especially with all these helmet awards coming out. <laughs> easier or tough not playing a lot. Say it again. Is it easier or tough when you find yourself not playing a lot, or maybe as much as you want to, or obviously it's not as much as you used to. Um, it's not easy. It's not hard. I mean, you kind of. You, as a basketball player, you just try to f figure out the little things to do, especially when you're not the uh, huge player anymore. You kind of just you're trying to just find like the little thing that you can just contribute to the team as much as possible, so we can go. Uh, Is it frustrating? No, not. Well, I guess sometimes, just as a, as a basketball player, you want to have all the great minutes and all the great plays, but um, you, uh, it's kind of satisfying just being a part of this great team. You're having fun. 
you feel yourself putting any extra pressure on yourself when you go into a game to make a splash so you'll hopefully stay out there longer, that kind of thing? Um, no, as I, my only goal going into the game is just making sure I don't have a drop in energy. That's the only thing I don't like because I know when I used to, I, when you see players go in, you kind of sometimes you'll see like a, a down drop. And that's the least thing you'll want uh, when you make subs. So I've always tried to uh, pick it up instead of let it drop down. We haven't talked to you since Dominique's helmet dunk came out. What did that play look like from your perspective? Um, it kind of, it was kind of funny, but as it happened, you kind of really didn't expect anything to happen because Dominique doesn't really have awesome dunks. Just like you kind of forget that it happens. Like I haven't really seen it since the summer. So you forget and then he just jumps and you're like, all right, well, this is going to happen. And so you're already in the air and you can't really say much about it. Too late to do anything at that point, right? Yeah, you're already in there, so you're just like, all right, I'm going to take this and just take the loss. What's the number one thing you've learned just being here so far this year? Um, to know really a little stress about the little things. Uh, I've used, when I was uh, younger, especially in high school, I've always like trying to, I've always stressed about the little things. But now you, when you're here, coaches really taught us to just, just keep playing and not really like, worry about a missed shot or a missed block out or something like that. So you don't worry anymore? No, especially with last game, I, I, can't, I missed like three free throws out of four. And I wasn't really stressed about it. I was kind of like, I was more confident about shooting free throws because I didn't stress about those other three shots. Appreciate it. Thanks.